Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is about antiquing. I decided to try out an antique mall. To my surprise, I actually found some really cute stuff. I really just went to go see what was available. So I have been researching where to find antiques. So it is springtime, and so my eye was kind of out for those spring items, the Easter items, and just anything that I truly love. I really wanted to find some antique books. That's what I went there for. Um, I've been shopping for books. I usually go to the dollar store, find books that are colors that are soothing, are light toned, you know, just a dollar. But I really wanted to add to my collection of books by having some antique books. I just find that the rustic pages, the rustic edges are just kind of that farmhouse feel that I want to go for. And so that's what I actually went shopping for. But I found some other cool things that I want to share with you. Is this, it's so silly, but I got a pillowcase. Now, I'm, you're probably like a pillowcase at an antique store, but what I thought this would look really beautiful as a runner. Look at the detail here. And I just thought I could cut this, layer it with another, like a burlap and I can totally make this into a table runner. I was trying to find something neutral but still elegant that I would like on my table and I just, I'm gonna try this out. I'll definitely let you know how this works out. It's so cute, a little moss covered bunny, right? I just was, I, as soon as I saw him, he was actually, it's so funny. I had gone through the entire um, the entire antique mall and I wasn't going to start purchasing anything. I like to do my scan first, right? So I'm going and I'm looking at everything. Then I'm going to go, okay, what do I really, really like? Uh, what do I want? What do I need? Or is there anything that I might be able to give as a gift? So I go through, I just keep my eyes open, looking around, but I try not to buy anything at first. I just really wanna look, because when I have my hands full of something, I can get distracted by the items, and I'm a searcher. I love to like look underneath, and there's things up high, and there's things behind things, and so if my hands are full, I can't do that. So as soon as I saw this bunny, I had pretty much gone through the whole place anyways, I was like, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to start buying stuff. So I did not want anyone else to snag him up. He was the only one that I saw. And I was like, basket please, I'm ready to shop. So he was really cute. I think he was $8. Very cute little bunny. So I got some neutral books and some colored books. So I'm just gonna go through each of the books and just show you what they look like. I found a ton of different books. I tried to find light colored books that had aged pages that had a rustic spine. And I really tried to stick within the six, seven dollar frame. There's a couple of books here that I did spend a little bit more with and I'll explain why. Um, this one I just had to have, I'm pretty sure he was $12. And it's the color. I just really wanted to have a couple of them be more of a turquoise blue color. If you've seen any of my videos, I mean, <laughs> I love blue. So I thought it would be nice to incorporate a couple blues. So I was like, okay, they're, it's really good quality. They're antique, but they also have that pop of color that I might want to add. So here's a nice blue one. Um, I, had, I had a really hard time finding any black ones that were under the $8 range. You don't want to spend a ton of money on something that you're going to be decorating with and not you really reading. I found another like teal colored book. I found this nice green one. I thought this was just really beautiful the way that it looks on both sides. A tan one. So this blue one, this beautiful orange colored one. I thought this would look really beautiful during the fall season. And it's got these green pages on the top and then the brown. Um, this one is really beautiful blue as well. And I was actually reading this one with my husband. It's uh, Bible Questions Explained. And it's actually a pretty cute little book. And it's got some really great facts about the Bible in here. And then this green one. 
this will look really beautiful during Christmas time. Like I said, we're neutral, but I also like to find books that are colors that I know I use for seasonal items. Like the orange for fall and the green at Christmas time. And then these two, for these two, I thought were very beautiful for spring. It's just a white toned, but look at the beautiful lady on it. So I just thought that was really pretty. And I have this actually laying on the other item that I got, and I'll show you. And then this one I paid a little bit more as well. This one was $12, but I liked it because it was a neutral toned, very thick. But you're gonna notice that all of the books are pretty similar in size when it comes to how tall they are, but there's a little variation. So when you have the spine out or without the spine, but either way, they're gonna look beautiful. The next item that I found is definitely not an antique because there were probably about three or four of these and then a larger size. Um, I got this for $12 and then they had the larger bunny who's about that much bigger for 15. Um, he, was, he had green on him. This one was um, more pink and blue. And so I definitely looks handmade, but it's still very cute. I just put him outside in my front entryway. Okay, so I found two vases that I absolutely love. I love the curve on this vase. I love the way the handle goes around. I love the, the way the top is. These are really nice for tear trays to give a pop of white on a large tear tray. Um, but also it has a little bit of damage to it that makes it look like an antique. But I looked at the bottom and it says 1-800-Flowers. <laughs> so I know it wasn't an, an antique, um, but it's still very beautiful. It's something that I, I know that I will definitely enjoy this. I think I paid maybe $15 or $12 for this, which is so reasonable. It's definitely something I would have paid for a vase at a store. So I really like this. And then I saw this little guy next to him and I just, like I said, I love the curves of it. Um, I love the way the handle is. I think that they go really nicely together, even though they're not identical, you can still see they have nice curves. They have the tall handle on it. This one is not from 1-800-Flowers, <laughs> but I just saw these were two really beautiful vases and I love vases. Right next to the bunny was this little bird. He is so cute. I just love him and I'm like a stacked antique books and this bird would look so beautiful and like i have said before in a couple of my other videos the birds are wonderful for spring i might not be able to have bunnies up all year but i all year like i'm gonna keep a bunny up i might not be able to keep my bunnies up all spring long i definitely keep them up seasonal for easter but birds i find that they go all of spring so they go with easter and they go with just spring items so this would look really cute on a tear tray a stack of books and so i think i paid five dollars for him I myself down i was like too many birds and plus that is something that i can find at pretty much any store but i saw this white bird and i loved the detail it's like rope to wings and you just get close so you can see I just thought this bird was so cute and he would look perfect on a tear tray. He'd look perfect on books. I ended up stacking him, stacking up books and putting him on top. Um, and yeah, I was just really excited about this little find. The next item I got was this watering can, total spring item. Now the flowers are from Hobby, Hobby Lobby. I went today, they're having their 50% off sale for um, greenery. So. I got it for $15.99, so half off, what's that, seven, eight dollars. So I got that, and I just really wanted some flowers because when they displayed this watering can, they had flowers inside just like this, and I was like, I'm going for that. They definitely painted this and made it, um, you can tell that it's been painted, but I thought they did a wonderful job. I ended up paying a lot for this watering can. He is a very large size. Look, the big as my head, <laughs> bigger. He was $48, but I just loved the antique look. I loved how they painted it, and I just thought it was worth it by the size of this watering can. This will be a definite new spring item that I bring out every year. Large item, I forget how to pronounce the name of this item, but it is another one of those big items. Now, I was drawn to this because of the color. The color is so my color, as you can see, they definitely painted this and antiqued it. Um, it was for, 
It was the only item that I negotiated because it was on, it was, the tag was $83 and I just felt like, yeah, I don't think I can pay $83 for that, but I could pay 50. So I asked and they said yes, but it, it opens up. So you can definitely store items inside of this. And I just thought of so many different places that I could place this and look how cute it would look with this watering can on top, right? With a little bunny or a bird. And you've got yourself a little side table or, um, or just a little, I thought this would look really nice if someone had like a fireplace, they put it next to a fireplace, they don't have a fireplace, but it's just kind of a something that goes in the corner, a filler um, that's beautiful, brings a little color to your house. I definitely can use it. I use turquoise in all my seasonal decor, except at Christmas, so I can pretty much use this all year long. And I just thought it was a really beautiful, and I can also use it as an end table. So, it has two reasons, two. So that's everything that I found at the antique mall. Thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support and watching these videos. You and have not been to an antique store near you. I encourage you to check one out because I'm telling you, you can find some really cute stuff there. And I'm going to be playing those videos for you next. It's just a couple minutes, so enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars 
sitting there in my 